Hi everybody, I have a project to share with you today. We are using this book by David King called American Kids in History, Colonial Days as inspiration for this project. This book is packed with information and different hands-on activities that you can do if you are doing an American History Unit. And today we are going to be making some marbled paper. Now I'm working indoors, so I'm going to protect my surface area, and I'm also going to put down a couple of pieces of white paper just to reduce the glare from my camera lights. I have a set of jars to mix my paint, and I picked up some oil paints from Michael's Craft Store. This is just a really simple set of oil paints, and I'm going to be using five different colors and different shades of blue, green, and yellow. So I'm just putting a small amount into each jar and then you want to thin it out with some paint thinner. I don't have paint thinner so I'm going to use some all natural nail polish remover and it works okay, just not great. And I probably should have put a little bit more of that nail polish remover into each one and paint thinner obviously would have been a better choice in order to thin them out. Now I am going to get some lukewarm water and put it in this large tub. You can find these on Amazon and I'll leave the link below. And now I'm just splattering the paint into the water. And I want to show you what happens to some of this paint. It kind of goes all crazy. It's just <laughs> going around in circles all over the place. But really what you want it to have it happen is for a layer of the paint to kind of rest on the top surface of the water. So I'm going to go ahead and do that with the different shades that I have. And at this point you could even kind of mix them around using like a toothpick or the back part of your paintbrush. Now comes the fun and that's to dip a piece of paper into the water. I'm using some watercolor paper. I just cut them down to about four by six size. And let's see if it worked out. I was kind of unsure whether it was going to work and it does. I was totally surprised because you can barely see the paint on the surface of the water, but it actually does pick up the paint and transfers it to the paper. The thing is, is that if your paper gets wet before it transfers the the paint, like suppose you just have a little spot without the paint, and then you try to dip it again, it's not going to work until your, your paper dries. So this was a lot of fun to do. It kind of looks like some land formations, like on a map or something. Uh, I went ahead and put a little bit more yellow because it does take up the paint and you do need to continually add more paint to your water. I'm using this really large sheet of print paper and it was a little bit harder to work with because it was so large and because it's just print paper so it's much thinner and so as soon as it gets wet it starts to kind of warp and wrinkle and I was worried that it was going to tear. So watercolor paper seems to be a good choice for this or some heavier drawing paper work pretty well too. Now I kind of got a little bit on the back side of this paper and I kind of liked the idea of marbling both sides so then for the next several sheets of paper I went ahead and marbled both sides. What you don't want to do is actually touch some of those clumps of paint at the bottom of the tray because that will adhere to your paper and it could smear but once these are all dry with just the marbling effect it's it just stays like that. It was a lot of fun to do. We really enjoyed this project. The kids went ahead and made their own designs as well. And if you would like to see some of the other projects we're doing with our history units, you can click on the screen to see that.